Hey guys, it's Tom Shu, and today I'm going to show you a really cool way to do location scouting without ever leaving your home. You know, this location scouting can be a really challenging thing, especially if you're new to an area. You know, as a matter of fact, when these big Hollywood directors have projects, based on their script, they hire these location scouts that are kind of experts of a local area that they want to shoot, and they pay them to go out and find these places. I'm going to show you an easy way to do it and never have to leave the house and never have to pay anyone. If we go here to Flickr, Flickr.com, and you backslash map, it's going to pull up a Yahoo map overlaid on all of these images that are in the Flickr database. And the cool thing about these images is they have geotagging information in them. That's right. When you take a picture with your iPhone or you take a picture with your Android device, that's automatically built in. It captures that GPS data from your phone and puts it into the picture. Now, if you have one of the newer cameras, you know, say like the OMDs or uh, the little mirrorless cameras, they also have GPS built in a lot of them. A lot of point and shoots have it. And DSLRs, if they don't have it built in, you can buy a dongle. Another way you could do it is you can use a little app. It's like a tracker app that tracks your day based on time. And when you take pictures with your camera, Okay, it will sync the time information from your image file to the time information of your GPS tracker that tracks your path of your day of shooting, and it will sync all that data together. So there's cool ways to capture geo information. However, that's not the tutorial. What this tutorial is to show you how to use this information in order to go out and make cool pictures. So if you're in a new location and you're not familiar where it's at, you can come to this that says Find My Location. So if I happen to be vacationing near my home, I would end up right here. Well, I'm not. So I want to plan a trip, for example, to say Death Valley. We'll say search the map, and I'll come over here and I'll type in Death Valley. Okay, so it's going to pull up all the information about Death Valley. Now you can look down here in these thumbnails, and let's choose one. Maybe this one looks interesting to me. Okay, I like the terrain. That's a beautiful looking image. Okay, so if you come over here and you say link to this map, let's look at this. You can see whenever you select one of these guys, it gives you this little point with a sun on it. So I'm going to go back to that one here, and you can see that there it is. We're going to click on that one. Actually, let's go back. And we're going to choose link to this map. Now it's going to show us a URL, and in this URL is embedded the secret sauce. Let's copy that, and I'm going to open up my notepad because I'm going to save this URL. Control-V, I'm going to paste it. Let me paste it twice so I can show you what we got to do. We're going to strip out the information. You see it says latitude and longitude. So we need to get rid of all this stuff here, including lat and the equal sign. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing over here, and we're going to get rid of the lon and the equal sign. So we're just looking for the numbers. Now we're left with two numbers with a minus sign because that's minus 116 degrees. So we're going to have to put a comma there to separate the latitude and the longitude and we're going to get rid of the information behind it. Okay. So now we just have to do this. We're going to copy this information and we're going to verify that this is accurate information. We're going to go into Google Maps. Okay. Now a lot of times when they take pictures it could be not right you know don't use this as the gospel it'll get you in a general area but sometimes it's wrong so you want to double check and make sure you did your point okay so or did your homework I should say let's click on this link okay and I'm gonna say get directions first I want to see how long it takes to get there so I'll type in Las Vegas we'll get directions and it's saying it's going to be about two hours and three minutes so I'm going to click on this point and it says more I'm going to zoom there, okay? There we have, look at that rough terrain right there. Let's zoom in some more from that point. And you can see this terrain looks a lot like this photo, okay? So I know this information is correct. Also, you can use this information in your Lightroom catalog. Say, for example, I've got some pictures here, and I can go through and search through them. And these are some images I took at the Bellagio for some corporate people. Okay, so you can search your images by geotagging information in your Lightroom catalog. So let me just paste this in here. I'm going to paste those coordinates in. We're going to hit enter, 
and it's going to bring us right to that same spot on our map. And I find this map inside the Lightroom catalogs pretty darn detailed. But that's it. That's the trick. Location scouting without ever leaving your home. Now you can see this Zabriskie point. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but you kind of get the feel for it. We'll look at it, and that's the name of his photo in the Badlands of Death Valley. You can do this with as many photos as you like, and you could build yourself a nice little shot list of things you'd like to take pictures of. Like, that's an interesting photograph. So that's it. I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today, and until next time, we'll see you soon.